Hello, this is David Haygood in Zero YKG, and in this segment, we're going to show you how to use a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator to check a diplexer. First of all, what's a tracking generator? It's part of a spectrum analyzer that, as the spectrum analyzer's receiver sweeps in frequency, the tracking generator generates a signal at exactly that same frequency and it is, is used so that the tracking generator and the spectrum analyzer can make a measurement on a system. We're going to use a simple 2 meter and 440 diplexer as our example here. So I'm going to hook it up and I'm going to show you what we're seeing here. I'm on the high side port of the diplexer and you can see that the signal is cut down low in the 2 meters. No signals getting through and the signal's getting through in the high side. When we reverse the connections, you'll see that we have the high side, the low side signal comes through and it blocks the high side. I can even show you both signals overlaid, and that shows you how the two signals cross over here in the middle in two, you know, say in the 250 megahertz band, which is why you really wouldn't want to do 220 megahertz on something like this. Now let me show you the setup for what we have here. We've got the diplexer. My antenna input to the spectrum analyzer comes on the antenna port of the diplexer. I feed my signal into one side of the diplexer, and I have 50 ohms terminating the other side of the diplexer. That's really important. If you don't terminate it, you're going to get lied to when you make these readings. Very quickly then, that's how you can sweep a diplexer, and you can see that it's correctly separating your 2 meters and your 440 side of the signals. I'm David Haygood. I hope you enjoyed this.